You never had to wonder, man, I wonder where that guy is. He's the loudest. Uh, he's getting on everybody the most. He's joking around. Uh, he's lively, no pun intended. Drive, lob it to Lively! Put that thing down! In one season at Duke, Derek Lively led all Division I freshmen in blocked shots. You got it rejected. His talent and zest for life traced directly back to one person. The players I've played with, the guys I've coached, you know, they're as tough as their moms are. And Kathy, she doesn't mess around. My mom's my superhero. You know, my mom's the reason why I play basketball. She's really the, the reason why I keep fighting every day. Derek's mom, Kathy, played college basketball at Penn State, then introduced her son to the game. Life took a dramatic turn for both when Derek was seven years old. I waited until he kind of really started to ask me, like, how did dad pass away? And I told him, I was like, addiction is a very dark path for people. I was absolutely devastated. He was devastated. There's, there's no doubt about it. At that young of an age, you really just don't understand some of the things you're going through. You, you don't realize how it's going to affect you, how it's going to change your future, how much more you got to fight. The fight intensified. One year after losing Derek Sr., Kathy was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2013. I didn't realize for the long journey that we had ahead. She's gone through everything and even more than anything I could possibly imagine. It just makes me want to try even harder and play even harder. Obviously, the cancer word for anybody is devastating. Hodgkin's is beatable, curable, however you want to word it, talk about it. So I was like, okay, we're good. A decade-long battle with the disease ensued. Chemotherapy and two stem cell transplants did not diminish Kathy's resolve. She's such a no-excuse person. She's, I don't think she's ever told me she's not doing well, when in reality, I know that's not the truth. Last year, the long-awaited moment finally arrived. July 9th, 2022. That was the date that I was at Duke and she called me and told me that she was completely in remission. So being able to make sure that she's spoiled now, she makes sure she's living the best life possible and I'm just doing everything that I possibly can to make her happy. When Derek started making money from NIL and profit off his name, image, and likeness, all right, you're buying your mama a house, you bought your dad a tombstone, which he never had. I don't know if many people would think of going back to make sure, you know, your dad is taken care of that way. Not many kids have had to face the adversities that he's had to go through. And I think it's humbled him. I think it's built a lot of character and resilience. He won't back down. We've had to figure it out our whole lives, the two of us. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.